folks have, have long known that students of color are suspended at elevated rates relative to white students. Uh, folks have also long known that students of color uh, perform poorer on standardized assessments of achievement uh, relative uh, to white students. What I'm referring to is uh, are the racial uh, discipline gap and the so-called racial achievement gap. Now, there's a there's a robust literature dating back several decades uh, that's attempted to shed light on uh, both causes and outcomes of each of these two gaps. Uh, however, it really wasn't until recently uh, that folks started talking about these two gaps as potentially related, uh, be, uh, being related to it to one another. Uh, now, the most influential work in this space uh, has either been largely conceptual, that is drawing on uh, existing literature to make a theoretical argument uh, for a connection between the racial discipline gap and the racial achievement gap, or it's been very local. Uh, uh, that is, uh, for, uh, researchers uh, looking at a relationship between the racial discipline gap and the racial achievement gap uh, within a, a, a single school district. Uh, so what my co-authors, uh, Joseph Gardella, uh, Ben Fisher, and Chris Kern, and I were interested in uh, was whether a relationship between the racial discipline gap and the racial achievement gap holds at the national level. Uh, and so what we found, based on longitudinal uh, data of all uh, U.S. school districts that contain sufficient uh, racial diversity to create reliable estimates of each of those two gaps uh, was that uh, what was found at the local level and what was argued for on conceptual grounds with respect to black and white students uh, largely holds at the national level. Uh, that is the uh, uh, black-white achievement gap and the black-white uh, discipline gap are in fact two sides of the same coin. As the black-white achievement gap goes up, so too does the black-white discipline gap. As the black-white discipline gap uh, goes up, so too does the black-white achievement gap. Likewise, uh, as each gap uh, gets smaller, uh, uh, so does uh, the other gap. So, so there are a number of, of implications for, for this work. Uh, first, uh, the simple finding that the two gaps are related uh, is, is important to, to acknowledge, uh, but in particular for what that then means. Uh, for, for one, uh, parents pay attention to these disparities. If your district uh, isn't meeting the academic needs of students of color, then it likely, uh, uh, if, if it isn't meeting the academic needs of students of color as well as it does its white students, uh, then it likely has racial discipline problems uh, to boot. Uh, similarly, if your district has uh, racial discipline uh, problems uh, as evidenced by elevated suspension rates for students of color relative to white students, then it likely isn't meeting the academic needs of its students of color uh, as well. One final that was particular, particularly surprising for us uh, was that the significant uh, relationship we observed between the Hispanic white discipline gap and the Hispanic white achievement gap uh, went away when we controlled for other district and community uh, level differences. Uh, what this suggests is that while there is in fact a relationship there, uh, it's not due to those uh, gaps uh, per se uh, being related to one another, but because of other unobserved and observed differences uh, at the district uh, level. What what these findings uh, suggest in, com uh, in conjunction with sort of the earlier noted finding that there in fact was a robust association between black and white students uh, is that the mechanisms connecting the racial discipline gap and the racial achievement gap, uh, for instance, teacher biases, uh, for instance, feeling isolated at school uh, may be far more salient for black students uh, than any other racial group. Mm -hmm.